Modern-day poultry production has evolved from years of study and practice. It has truly become a science. And while poultry producers can tell you to the fraction of a penny how much they spend on feed and medication, they may be overlooking, actually standing on, the cause of a lot of their birds' problems and the potential for significant savings, the litter. PLT is a dry, white granular product that is environmentally sound, safe, and easy to apply. Manufactured in Walbridge, Ohio, PLT has become the top-selling litter amendment because of its ability to help growers improve bird performance with its four main benefits. First, PLT lowers litter pH. In a low pH environment, litter ecology is shifted to one that's more favorable for birds. Second, PLT eliminates ammonia. Third, PLT allows litter to be safely reused for an extended period of time. And fourth, the dedicated team at Jones Hamilton provides unprecedented support to companies and growers around the world. While Jones Hamilton has research showing how lowering pH, eliminating ammonia, and extending litter usage contributes to improved bird performance, the real proof lies in the billions of birds successfully grown on PLT for over a decade. The ability of PLT to significantly reduce pH and immediately eliminate ammonia has far-reaching and positive effects. However, achieving optimal results requires attention during the application procedure, the same procedure that should be followed for all litter-based operations. When using PLT, preparations for the next flock start the minute the previous flock moves out. It's critical to manage the house environment between flocks by evacuating as much ammonia as possible before your next PLT application. Immediately after you've moved your flock out, close up your poultry house tightly, ventilating only enough to prevent moisture condensation. This will help release ammonia from the litter while retaining heat in the litter that helps warm the floor for the next flock. Next, remove only the caked and wet areas from the surface of the litter. Don't disturb the deep litter and do not till. This helps minimize ammonia volatilization, which reduces stress on baby chicks. During this step, and any time personnel are working in the house, be sure to ventilate to remove ammonia. The next step is designed to maximize the effectiveness of PLT. Since PLT begins binding ammonia immediately, you want to purge the ammonia you've already released from the litter before treating for the incoming flock. To do this, close the house tightly and begin the preheating procedures according to your company's guidelines. The heating process will release a large amount of ammonia. In this brood chamber, testing during preheating shows ammonia levels to be 240 parts per million. Considering that ammonia can induce vaccination reactions, blindness, respiratory diseases, and air sac condemnations at levels as low as 25 parts per million, ammonia levels this high will, obviously, have a detrimental effect on exposed birds. During preheating, the floor temperature should reach a minimum of 90 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 48 hours to release the ammonia stored in the litter. If applied before preheating, PLT will be used up by ammonia that's released during the standard preheating process. At this point, you can continue to prepare your houses as normal for chick placement. Once the houses are ready, you'll need to ventilate the purged ammonia gas before applying PLT. Turn your heaters off or down 5 to 10 minutes before application. Then manually open the house inlets fully or drop the sidewall curtains for at least 5 to 10 minutes or as long as it takes to reduce the ammonia. Opening the house allows cooler, heavier air to dilute the ammonia levels quickly and effectively. Please note you'll only lose ambient temperature, not floor temperature. Plus, this process will help extend the life of PLT and result in minimal ventilation during brooding. If you apply PLT before ventilating, it will react with the ammonia already in the air, creating a hazy appearance. Furthermore, early application can reduce PLT's longevity by two to three days. Now you're ready to apply PLT. When handling and applying PLT, Jones Hamilton recommends standard safety precautions be taken. We suggest wearing goggles with side protection, a dust mask, and gloves. 
Boots, long pants with the leg covering the boot, and a long sleeve shirt are also a good idea. The PLT application rate for litter less than one year old is 75 to 100 pounds per 1,000 square feet of floor space. For litter older than one year, the application rate is 100 to 150 pounds. These rates are based on how much manure is in the litter and how well the litter has been managed from previous flocks. Follow these guidelines based on the size of the brooding area you are using. Here are a few things to keep in mind during application. PLT should be applied while the house is open using either a standard push spreader, a mechanical bulk spreader, or a tractor PTO-driven cyclone spreader. Because PLT only works on surfaces where it has direct contact, it must be evenly spread at the recommended rate across the entire floor space in the brood section. PLT should never be tilled in. If you top dress litter with shavings, apply PLT after you top dress. Additional PLT can be applied in wet or damp areas. If disinfectants or insecticides are being used, wait until they've dried, usually one to two hours before applying PLT. And remember, since PLT begins to work immediately, it should be applied as close to chick or pulp placement as possible to maximize ammonia control. We recommend applying it 2 to 24 hours prior to bird placement. Now that you've applied PLT, close the house and proceed to the next house. Heaters should not be turned back on until after you've applied PLT to all the houses on your farm. During this time, the floors will generate ample heat to minimize the heat cycle. Now your litter is ready for bird placement. No fan cycle is required until 2 to 4 hours prior to bird placement or if humidity is above 70%. Once birds are in the brood chamber, you'll want to ventilate the house to maintain a relative humidity between 50 and 70%. Maintaining this level provides the optimal humidity for bird health. It also helps minimize ammonia production, improves the longevity of PLT, and maximizes fuel and energy efficiencies. It's critical that fans are clean, belt tensioners are tight, and static pressure systems are working properly. Otherwise, the humidity levels could rise above 70%, causing litter caking and increased ammonia production. Not the ideal environment for birds. You should always follow your company's ventilation guidelines, but keep in mind that humidity levels will rise gradually after bird placement. So check relative humidity levels every morning to control moisture and avoid unnecessary overventilation. Once you apply PLT, there will be no ammonia fumes to exhaust so less fan time is needed, which dramatically reduces fuel and electricity costs. Should the need arise, PLT is the only litter amendment that can be safely reapplied for ammonia control while birds are in the house. So what should you expect now that PLT has been properly applied? There will be a noticeable absence of ammonia. In this brood chamber, the new reading on the ammonia gun confirms PLT has activated and eliminated the ammonia completely. Without the need to ventilate ammonia gas, PLT users experience significant fuel cost reductions, averaging up to 50% in the first week of brood and up to 40% during grow-out. If you're applying PLT directly to the dirt pad after clean-out, there are a few steps you can take to maximize pH reduction. First, be sure to completely clean out all the old litter. This includes removing the wet decayed litter and sweeping or shoveling corners and footings. Next, wash and disinfect the house as you normally would. We recommend using disinfectants with an acidic pH. Allow the dirt pad to dry completely and then apply PLT directly to the surface at a rate of 100 to 150 pounds per 1,000 square feet. If needed, insecticides can be applied before or after PLT. Last, apply your dry bedding material and prepare the house as normal for bird placement. With turkeys, PLT is used both in the brooder barn and in the grow-out house for ammonia control and pH reduction prior to birds being placed. In the grow-out house, PLT can be applied with birds in the house to control the high levels of ammonia that occur after tilling. PLT has also been proven to help maintain good paw quality, improve feed conversion, and boost overall bird performance. Plus, if the litter is properly managed, PLT extends litter reuse for many years, which reduces air emissions and improves water quality, 
And when it's time for clean out, PLT increases the litter's fertilizer value. Welcome to the science of litter management.